The following segment is sponsored by Creative Society. It's normal to see some frost on the heat pump unit, especially during the winter, but excessive amounts of ice can damage your heating system and cause it to stop working completely. Sean McGraw from American Veteran AC is with us this morning. Hi, Sean. Good morning, Margaret. How you doing? Doing well. It's good to see you. Um, so talking about the impact of winter weather, heat pumps often do ice up when the temperature drops, right? What's happening there? Well, they shouldn't be icing up completely. So what happens is on a heat pump, we, we essentially changed it, changed rolls of coils. So it is very common to see a light frost on the outside of the unit, and, and that's perfectly common. What raises alarm to a lot of folks is two things. One, they'll hear a large, a, a loud noise, like a hissing noise, like <laughs> going on outside. That's perfectly common. What that means is the system's going into defrost, and that's what it was designed to do. And the other thing that usually raises a lot of alarms to folks is on the outdoor unit out here, you're gonna see a lot of steam coming off that unit. It's because the ice is melting, it's evaporating, and it's steam. It's not smoke coming off your unit. Your unit's not on fire, it's perfectly normal. And then everything's gonna switch back to the way it's supposed to be normally operating, usually within a minute or three minutes. And you're gonna start getting warm air back out of your vents. So while a certain amount of ice is normal, when is ice build up becoming a big problem for heat pumps? Okay, so when ice becomes a problem, it, it depends on the atmosphere we're operating in. Now, if it's just normal, cool weather, you know, 40, 35 degrees, 30 degrees outside, there should be no ice on that outdoor unit. If there's ice built up, like legitimate layered ice on that unit, there's a problem with the unit. If it's one thing we did come across before is when we get freezing rain out here, what will happen is that freezing rain, if the unit's turned off, the fan's not blowing, it starts coating this, the, the top of the unit. So now it can't breathe anymore. We talked before, airflow is key to everything. If it can't breathe, if it's not able to get that ice or get the airflow out of the, coming across the coil, it will ice up quicker than a defrost cycle can take care of it. So if we're into an icy season, freezing rain, things of that nature, keeping an eye on the unit is about the best you can do. If you notice that there's a layer of ice on top of it, trying to keep that off of there somewhat. Obviously, if it's at nighttime and it does freeze up, one thing you can do is go ahead and turn the unit off at the circuit breaker in your house. Make sure all the power's off to the unit and get some, just some water on top of the unit if you want to avoid calling us up. If you want to call us up, call us up. But you can get some water on top of the unit and that will defrost the, the unit. By all means, do not ever try to chisel that ice off because what, what will happen is you'll end up putting a hole in your coil and now you got a much larger problem than you started with. So we want to avoid that. All right, so don't scrape at it yourself. And if they need help, they can contact you. But give us the overview, American Veteran Air Conditioning, and your mission. Our mission is to take care of you. We've got fantastically trained individuals here that operate on the core principles that they has been instilled with them. It's, it's, not, it's not even ideas to them anymore. It's just their core operating principle. We can't help but to operate this way with integrity, initiative, uh, service, all those things that were instilled at us in our time of service. So when we come out to your house, that's what, exactly what you're going to expect or should expect and what we will perform at. So we're going to take care of you. We're going to take care of the problem. We're going to let you know anything else going on with your system and just really bring all the information to you. Hopefully have the opportunity to get you involved in every step of the process so you understand fully what's going on at your home. And then you can make an educated decision as to what is in your best interest, not ours. When people can uh, count on you to do it the right way and they're going to love doing business with you, they can get a hold of American Veteran by calling 435-0822 or visiting the website AmericanVeteranAC.com. Sean McGraw from American Veteran AC, thanks for being here. Thank you. Take care, Margaret.